Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about some really neat ways you can use Google Lens that can actually make your life easier. And I also have a little anecdote about one of these features because I worked on it when I was an intern at Google years ago. So first off, what is Google Lens? I like to think of it as an AI driven image search engine. So instead of manually typing in text to search, you just hold your viewfinder over whatever it is you want to search and Google will perform that search for you. Okay, so now to preface the demos, I feel like anybody who's been watching my videos knows that I work in AI and I find the way that machine learning and AI have become so ubiquitous, really fascinating. And I think everybody has some idea of what machine learning is, or they've at least heard about these concepts because it's in all of the tech that we use. Instagram, YouTube, Amazon, platforms and services that we use every day, whether or not people realize what's going on behind the scenes. AI is trying to give us content that we want to see and recommend products to us that we actually want to buy. And I mean, we can have a debate about the ethics behind these algorithms and what exactly it is they're trying to optimize and whether or not our lives are actually better with these apps and these algorithms. But Part of my overall philosophy on how to go about life is you just have to think for yourself. And it's the whole critical thinking thing I've brought up on my channel before, kind of like with great power comes great responsibility. And we now have access to such cool technology. So for instance, if YouTube recommends 10 videos to you that you actually want to watch, you can't watch them and then blame the algorithm for making you waste another hour of your life watching these videos because the algorithm is designed to make you want to keep watching videos. You know, you still have control over your own actions. My point in saying all of this is I'm going to show you some really cool features of an app and I know it's not perfect. Google is still working continuously to try to improve it and it can make a lot of tasks that you do every day much easier. But when you use it, just try to think about what's going on behind the scenes. Think about what it's actually doing, what it's capable of doing, and I think you'll know better how you can actually use it to your advantage. Okay, so now let's get started. To access Google Lens, I use the Google app. If you have a Pixel, I think it's built right into your camera viewfinder, but if you open the app, there's a camera icon right by the search bar, and if you open that up, the Google Lens viewfinder will be ready to process whatever it sees in that viewfinder. You can also run Google Lens on the photos that you have in your Google Photos app. So instead of running Lens on stuff as you see it in real time, you can also run things on old photos that you've taken. First, I wanna go through all of the stuff it can do with text. Google Lens has a powerful optical character recognition engine. And so whenever you hold your viewfinder over some text, it'll do its best to try to find spaces and the right formatting so that it can actually read in and interpret the text. This also works on handwritten text. So if you've taken notes for a class or something, you can scan it in with lens and copy it into a digital document and have a digital copy of your notes. Basically for any type of text, handwritten or not, lens will try to recognize it and interpret it. Once Google Lens recognizes the text, you can copy it and do whatever you want with it put it into a note or another document or something. You can also scan a business card. So all you have to do is hold your camera viewfinder over a business card and it will try to recognize the first name, last name, email address, and it'll give you this importable contact so that you don't have to manually type everything in. This is actually the feature that I worked on when I was an intern there. Basically when I was there, they already had a really great optical character recognition engine, but to be able to actually assign labels, like this is the first name, this is the last name, this is the phone number and email address, etc., we actually had to train a neural network to be able to assign the correct labels so that you'd actually be able to import it as a contact. You can also scan a QR code or a URL or even a URL hidden within a bunch of other text. Google will recognize that it's a URL and it will give you a link to open it up in a browser. Maybe you see a website posted somewhere or in an ad and you don't have to manually type it into your browser if you use Google Lens. You can also scan a phone number or an email address and Google Lens will recognize that it's a phone number or email and it'll give you the option to call or text or email someone. If you take a photo of road signs, I found this to work sometimes, not always, but if you're at an intersection or something and you wanna send a pin to someone to let them know your location, 
if Google recognizes those street names, it can also open up a pin in Google Maps and you can copy that pin and send it to one of your contacts. If you go to a restaurant and you hold your viewfinder over the name of that restaurant, you can also bring up ratings and reviews and news about that restaurant, even a menu if that's available. Similar to getting the restaurant reviews, you can also hold your viewfinder over the cover of a book and it can bring up summaries and ratings and reviews and even links to buy the book. You can also scan a ticket for an event and you can add that event to your iCalendar or Google Calendar. So they also have the software to be able to recognize dates and times. You can translate text and you can even get the pronunciations of things with the listen button. Say you're in a different country and you see road signs that you don't recognize or restaurant names or menu items that you don't recognize or know how to pronounce. Lens could help you a lot in communicating with the locals or just getting a better understanding of where you are. You can also scan tracking numbers and track those packages, which makes it so much easier than manually typing in all however many digits there are to a tracking number. And lastly, with the text, I think this is really cool. It can even solve math problems. So even if they're handwritten, you can use the homework option and hold your viewfinder over the math problem that you're trying to solve. And if it can read the equation, it'll give you the solution. Okay, so now on to the non-text stuff. You can really use lens to recognize just random objects. If you're walking around and you see an animal or a plant that you don't recognize or something that you just wanna learn more about, you can hold your viewfinder over that thing and Google will try to classify that object for you and give you more information about it. A friend of mine sent me a video and a photo a long time ago of this puppy that his family just got named Oreo. And I asked him what breed Oreo was when I could have just used the Lens app to try to classify it myself. With the photo he sent me, Google was close. He told me that it was a mix between a Maltese and a Poodle. And the results from Google were like, all of the breeds around those two, but it didn't get the mix exactly right. You can also use this object recognition feature to find items that you might wanna purchase. Maybe you're walking around or you're watching TV and you see someone wearing some shoes or some article of clothing that you really like. If you snap a photo and you run it through lens, if they can find the exact product or similar products, they'll show all of those results to you and you don't even need to know the name of the product you wanna to buy to be able to search for it. Or if you're just in a store and you see a product that you really like and you wanna know whether or not you can get it for a lower price online or at a different store, Lens can also give you all of that information. You can also use it when you're at the grocery store. Maybe you see an item or an ingredient that you wanna buy, but you're not quite sure how to use it or how to cook it properly, or you're just looking for a recipe inspiration. Just open the Lens app and run that product through Lens. It'll tell you what it is, nutrition information if that's available, recipe ideas for how to use it, and more. You can also use it to get product reviews. So like if you're looking at an item where there's so many options to choose from, or if there's a new item that you're curious about, you can just use Lens and it'll show you ratings and reviews and even show you whether or not you can get it for a lower price online. I also saw this really odd thing when I was in the grocery store in their cake case. It was a cake that was shaped like a hamburger. I have no idea who's buying this, but I was curious to see whether or not Google would know that it's a cake and not a hamburger. So I ran it through Lens and I could not believe that it knew that it was a hamburger cake. And not only that, it brought up recipes to show me how I could make this hamburger cake myself. I found it very hard to believe that that many people have made hamburger cakes or have even thought to make something like that. I feel like for me, Lens could be a really great assistant to have in the grocery store. So you see something that looks interesting to you, you can learn how to cook it before you commit to buying it. Or if you see something that looks good, you can also learn how to make it yourself. This goes for things that you eat in restaurants too. If you have a photo of something that you've eaten in a restaurant that you found really delicious and you wanna recreate it yourself, try running it through Lens and maybe they'll give you a recipe for you to be able to make it yourself at home. And lastly, if you are at a famous landmark or a historic building, or if you have a photo of one, you can run that through Lens and you can get its location in maps, you can get directions on how to get there. You can see ratings and reviews, news about that place, information on its history, and so much more. I know this technology is only going to keep getting better, 
Google keeps adding more visual data to their database and improving their models. So for instance, even though they couldn't get that exact dog breed correct earlier, in a couple months, couple years maybe, I think it'll get it right. When I was working there, they contracted people to annotate images for them, meaning these people just labeled images based off of what was in them. For the business card thing, I just had to design the interface properly so they could label things as first name, last name, email address, phone number, etc. So I would show the annotators images of business cards along with the words and the numbers that the optical character recognition software had found and I would have the annotators just label all of these word entities as first name, last name, phone number, email address, street address, country, city, and so on. I also read an article that said that now they're using AI to automatically label images. So you can imagine the more stuff that they get labeled, the better their models are going to be. And there are definitely situations where it's just easier to do a manual text search but I hope that me going through all of these different ways you could possibly use the lens features gives you some idea of the possibilities of AI and ways that you could use these features to your own advantage. I hope you enjoyed this video and found the information at least somewhat helpful or interesting. If you did like it, please hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh boy.